Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we finished off the Forest Temple. So that's one good thing we got done. Anyway, we're here in the Temple of Time. This is actually where you start the game as an adult. I didn't, I never showed it, but when you start the game up as a kid and you're not in a temple or a, a, a temple, but a dungeon, you start in uh, your house that you originally started anyway. So. If we go to the pedestal of time, we'll see Cheek there. You destroyed the wicked creatures that haunted the temple and wakened the sage. But there are still other sages who need your help. In order to awaken all the other sages, you must become even more powerful. You must travel over mountains, underwater, and even through time. If you want to return to your original time, return the Master Sword to the Pedestal of Time. By doing this, you will travel back in time seven years. The time will come when you will have to return here quickly. I will teach this to you for you when that time comes. The song to return to the Temple of Time, the Prelude of Light. Most definitely, probably one of the most useful songs too. Oh, well, the warp songs, anyway. Da -na -na -na. I get that song mixed up all the freaking time, too. I swear. Da -na, da -na -na -na. So now we can come back here anytime. Don't have to reset game, the game for it. As long as you hold the Ocarina of Time and the Master Sword, you hold time itself in your hands. Link, we shall meet again. Ooh, what? Goodbye. <laughs> you just drop the sword in there and there you go. But um, actually I'm not going to do that quite yet anyway. There is a couple things we can do. I'm going to return to uh, child form eventually, but probably not this video. So, remember Lon Lon Ranch? It's changed as well. I, in fact, pretty much everything else has changed. Um, oh, you know what? Come this way. And, uh, there's the reason why I'm doing this in the first place. This used to be Hyrule Castle. It's not Hyrule Castle anymore. This is Ganon's castle. Yep, he's taken over Hyrule and made it his own, basically. But we can't get there quite yet. <laughs> As you see, we're a little, uh, a little short there. Don't have a bridge to get there, if you know what I mean. But if you come over here, there's a sculpture left. Easily obtained for number 30, I think. Yep, number 30. And that will let us a, uh, second prize, as well as getting the previous one as well. So, we can go turn this in. What do you want, Navi? Yeah, Death Mountain. Gotcha. But I'm gonna go to... Long Long Ranch first. Because I can. And I really have nothing else to do at this point. And we gotta do some side quests now that we have... Well, we just beat the temple, so... Why not? See if I can't get some rupees out of this. I'm gonna need some rupees, like, massively. <laughs> okay, well, that works. I'll take that. So, we wanna go out here. And look at the dark, danky Hyrule field for a second. The night. 
Oh yeah, it is night time, isn't it? <laughs> right. Totally forgot that I made a knife for that one sculptula. It'll be daytime by the time we get there, I think. No? Not quite? Ah, uh, pushing it too soon. That's fine. We can just make a day when we get there. Make it a day. Bum ba -la 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 -la. There's the sun song. And the cuckoo's uh kinda just crow. Looks like normal check-ins there. They're here. Nothing special. So we see that it's locked off now. And this guy is standing here. What's he all about? Don't be ridiculous. So this is Ingo, who now has control over the ranch here at the Lawlon Ranch, which is not good. He's uh, keeping him locked up, which we don't want. A fine horse. I sure do. Pay ten rupees. Fine. Sure, let's listen. Approach the horse quietly and stand by its side. Press A to mount up. Press the control stick to make it run. Once it starts running, press A to tap it with the whip. It'll speed up. When you want to jump over a fence, accelerate hit it head on. If you try to jump over a fence at an angle, the horse won't like it. It won't jump. If the horse comes to a complete stop, press A to dismount. Now have fun. Thank you so much. Ugh. Minute? That's not very good. You know, here you're gonna play the opponent song. And have opponent come to you. Where's she at? There she is. There's opponent. Now, opponent is the horse you're gonna want for this. And, uh, ride around with her for a few seconds. Get a feel for the control. You can see you don't have speed. Get a feel for the controls. Look at that, it did that. Doesn't like it when they go to an angle, huh? Draw distance. <laughs> okay, so let's talk to Ingo, see if we can't race him. Maybe we can keep the horse eventually. Oh, I want to ride. I don't know what the criteria for actually racing him is. Which kind of sucks. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, if you can, uh, get both of those, there's a blue rupee on top of each of them. Okay. See if you can't talk to Ingo now. Maybe? No. No, I want a pony on. Huh? Okay, well, maybe you can run out again. Sure. No. Okay, so now, let's call the opponent yet again. Come here, girl. Let's talk to, let's talk to him now. Wanna race me now? Okay, yeah. Uh, he said something about racing, blah blah blah. And wager 50 rupees. Alright. Let's racing go for the horse. You wanna start off with you know, start off pretty strong. He's gonna try and corner you there, but don't fret, you can catch up pretty easily. Don't waste all your uh, carrots though. Kind of stay ahead of him, like, like that. But that's best just to run off and uh, just beat him like this. <laughs> Twenty-seven or twenty hours? Oh, close twenty-six seconds. Aw, oh, you lost, didn't you? Sure, let's go for it again. If I win, I can keep the horse this time, huh? 
Let's see if we can't do that. Get off, Maggie. Oh, I see how it is. Just try and stay on the inside. Not too close, though, but enough to uh, keep up with. He, see, he gets in, in your way this time. A lot. But, just take off. Sorry, Bonnie. I barely won that. <laughs> yes, that's Epona. I use the song. Don't give it to No, you're not gonna give it to Ganondorf. I'm gonna take it. As I promised, I'll give the horse to you. However. However, what? Oh, that's not very cool. So now I'm stuck here forever? Well, not exactly. You can either take the fence, or I like to do it this way. I think it's the way you're supposed to do it. Yeah! Right out of the ranch. And we pretty much steal Epona. Yeah, the girl. So now we finally have Epona for ourselves. That's that's good. Kind of stole her though, but for a good cause. I believe that somewhere out here is a tree. I think this is the tree. Here. I don't actually want to go down this hole. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, you get your rupees back too if you win. But uh, come over here. Oh, I guess this isn't the hole I thought of. There's uh, five rupees in there. Never mind. I'm not the hole I thought of. I think you could blow this up. I could be wrong. There should be a hole here. Okay, maybe not here. Let's go somewhere else then. Maybe it's this tree over here though. It's one of them. I know that for sure. Whoa, Epona. Slow down. Oh, there's this rock over here. Did I blow that up? Maybe that's it. I don't want to sit here and look it up either. One of them, it's gotta be it. Maybe it's a little far, like northwest or something. Gotta be something I'm missing. Hmm. Just take a stroll with the opponent real quick, though. This is it. Yeah, maybe this is it. Aw. There's a Poe there. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Oh well, whatever. But, um, if you're wondering, you cannot use Epona as a kid. I don't know why, but... For some reason, they just won't let you use him as a kid. You use her as a kid. 
sitting here trying every freaking tree there is. Yeah, the only item you're supposed to use legitimately on the phone is the, uh, the bow. There we go. That's the hole I'm looking for, I think. Can I get it? Uh, no, not quite. I need one of two things, and I don't have either. At least I found the hole I was looking for, though. Anyway, off to Kakariko Village really quickly. Now that we have a Pona, things are a lot easier. Now, unfortunately, you can't take a Pona into town with you, but you can leave her on the uh, tree here. Well, you can just call her when you get back, but leaving her here is fine. Let's go into Kakariko Village as an adult, shall we? Oh, we already did that anyway. But, um... Now that the shooting gallery is built here... I will, uh, do that after attempting the... I'm not attempting, but, uh... Getting my rewards from the... Sculptula dudes. I can't think. So this guy over here has the 30... No, this is 20 rupees. Oh no, I got that already, did I? Okay. So this guy... Gives us the giant wallet. Now he can carry up to 500 rupees. It's crazy. So there's that. Uh, she's still sitting up there, huh? Okie dokie then. Come in here. And this is the town shooting gallery. No, it's just called shooting gallery. We play a game for 20 rupees per play. Game for grown ups, blah blah blah. It's the same as a kid, except for it, that it's randomized. See, I got the reds first and the green one. First try this time. And we get a prize again, and it's the big quiver. Now we can carry 40 arrows. Unfortunately, unlike uh, being a kid, you do not get the other upgrade for your bow until much later. Which kind of sucks in a way. But now we've done that. Um, you can hook shot on two roofs. That's how you're supposed to get this piece of heart up here, but of course I'm a little cheater than I got it really, so. Anyway, let's go to Goron City and see what's been happening around there, shall we? Of course, we gotta take the climb up here. We got red tectites yet again. They're usually taken down in one hit though. But uh, we have these red rocks that cannot be broken by uh, bombs. Let's have a bunch of gor uh, not gorons, but just rocks rolling down the hill for no apparent reason whatsoever. And these, these rocks can't be broken quite yet. Which kind of sucks, but. Yes. Anywho. Let's see what's been going on in Goron City, shall we? Love the music in this game. Bomb there. And in here is... 50 rubies. That's nice. Backflipping. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, I love doing that. Mm. Okay, so come down here, and you'll see this go on kind of like rolling around. Pull out a bomb, if I can pull this off right. Oh my god! That usually takes me forever to do! That was crazy. He, his name's not Link. My name's Link. Wait a minute. Come here. Talk to me. Yes, it is. The Dongo Bustard Hero. You're... Oh, so you're Darunia's kid, huh? Yeah, I remember him. Oh, okay, that makes sense. You like it, huh? To my friend, Link of the Gorons. <laughs> oh. Not a good time, huh? I wonder where all the Gorons are. Ah. Dragon, huh? Yeah, that's not very good. Now you're crying, aren't you? <sighs> alright, alright, alright. Calm down. Ask you about the dragon. What's about what about the dragon? Valvagia, huh? <laughs> very scary. Using a huge hammer, the hero of the Gorons. Boom! Okay. I, I, I guess we're gonna have to do this. <laughs> Your dad's the descendant of the hero. Interesting. Okay, well... Let me ask you about the Gorons, then. What happened to them? Oh. Okay, well, that sucks. Ganondorf's followers. What followers? <laughs> oh, that's not good. I gotta save them all. Or we gotta save them all, huh? As a warning? <laughs> doesn't really make sense. But, uh... Okay, then. Heat-resistant tunic. The Goron tunic. And all the doors open. So that's good. Got a... fire retardant suit here. Although, uh... I don't know how suits in this game really help you. They're just, uh, color. I don't get it. Okay, so come on here. And I saw there's a sculpture up here. There we go. Okay, so. Go back here, and then nothing to do, huh? Move the statue here. At first, doesn't seem like you can move it, but you can. There you go. Rupees, hearts. Oh, come on, open it. Thank you. Arrows. All right. And we're back to Death Mountain Crater, and this time, it's not hurting us. So... Let's go this way, shall we? Oh! Hi, Sheik! What's up? That sound... that musical jingle means another song. It is something that grows over time. A true friendship. A feeling in the heart that becomes even stronger over time. The passion of friendship will soon blossom into a righteous power, and through it, you will know which way to go. This song is dedicated to the power of the heart. Listen to the Bolero, bolero of Fire. That's a toughie. <laughs> da, na, 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 na. Down a, down a, right down, right down.
so peaceful. <laughs> We've learned the Bolero of Fire. The third of six warp songs, believe it or not. Link, I'll see you again. Yeah, you will. Where are you going? Why'd you create the wall of fire, huh? Which, again, makes no sense because we're on a wooden bridge. Wouldn't the fire destroy the bridge? Think about that one. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time where uh, we do some more side quests, shall we? I'll see you guys then.